We'll take uh, essentially dragonfly uh, without the arm balance. So you take your hands to the ground, bend your left knee and slide your right leg down into the left. Now dragonfly, the left foot would be turned out and try to get your elbows, left elbow to the instep of your left foot. Now those of you that want an additional challenge, there's a couple of things you could do. You could place a block underneath your left foot. Foot should be turned out quite a bit actually. And then if you want another challenge to make it, you can lift your right leg up off the ground and squeeze it forward into the blocks. But lifting it up, you get the adductors active, squeezing into blocks, hip flexors, both of those muscle groups necessary. And you're trying to rotate your chest back to the center. Your chest will want to turn this way, right? You're trying to keep your left elbow to the ground through rotation. I'll just show you without the block and such. Right foot over. And then we try to get the left hip in line with the right heel, turn the toes out. And the objective here would be to bow forward. Okay. But let's just do standing dragonfly together. Start would be tricep to foot. Okay. Second variation deeper would be the right hand to the ground, left hand to the sky. Okay, so to prep for the arm balance, those two variations, really great. Additionally, you can do the standing dragonfly at the wall, which would look like this. You would take your, and this is gonna take some finagling, but you'll take your left ankle across, and you gotta make basically a one forearm distance away from the wall, so that when your hand comes here, you're now in an arm balance flipped on its side. So my right, the hands are, notice how wide my hands are, by the way, super wide for this posture. Okay. Otherwise your elbow is going to be doing all sorts of weird things. You got to get your, your nice base to support because your chest can move more easily inside of the shoulder blades. Okay. So now grab your chair. It's time to at least uh, give the final posture a go. Take the right ankle over the, the left foot. Now this is something where everyone can start the practice. So you have standing dragonfly or seated dragonfly in this case. Then we have option one here. Okay. Option two. Okay. Now you have standing dragonfly on chair or seated dragonfly. However you want to look at it. And then what you can do is you utilize the edge of the chair and this is where you can work the foot as high on the armpit as possible. And then you come off the chair at some point, but watch, you gotta get your hands wide and I'm turning. See, I'm turning towards you slowly. And once I get my hands nice and wide, then I can place them onto the ground. And you see, I came off the chair and now my left knee squeezes into my right foot. So you can go more like side crow to get into it this way. So um, I just go that way, you know, side crow versus like turning the whole thing. So out to the side, left knee squeezes in or extends out, Oop. slipping. Use the left hip flexors, squeeze the right knee in. 